Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my empties and favorites for September. First off, sorry about all this. Um, I realized 15 minutes ago that today is October 1st and last month I forgot to record my empties and favorites for August. So I really wanted to make sure I got my favorites and empties for September. See, when I realized it was October 1st, I was just like, Let's throw on some mascara. <laughs> Sorry. I'll leave in the description box um, where I start my um, my favorites if you are just interested in that because I am going to start with my empties and I will just get into it. So I'm going to start with candles. I went through an alarming amount of candles this month. Um, I am such a sucker for a good smelling house that I, I just, I keep buying them and burning them. Alright, so I have five candles here. So the first candle is um, one that I got from TJ Maxx. It is the Soothing Crystal candle from DW Home. Um, it smells amazing. It burned very evenly. The only qualm I had with it is I don't know if you can see, but there's still this much of the candle left. And my wick ran out. So that was unfortunate. But it was a huge candle for $8, so I'm not really that upset. The next one I got was from Kohl's. Um, it's a Sonoma brand, Be Tranquil. This one was okay. Um, I didn't care too much for the seagrass scent um, after maybe two days, but it was, it burned evenly. It was very nice. It was $20, though. I wouldn't pay $20 for this again. The next one I also got from Kohl's. Um, this was their Autumn Hayride from Sonoma. This, this smells fantastic. This is definitely a very fall candle, very appropriate for the fall season. So I really liked this one, but again, it's $20. I don't know if I would splurge on that again. The next ones I have are a couple of small little tiny size candles uh, that are also from TJ Maxx. The first one is from Everyday Luxe and it's in the scent Coconut Leche. And it smells very nice. It's definitely more tropical, more for the like summery spring seasons, but it was very nice and it, you know, did its job. The next one is um, called Lemon Sage and oh, I, this one's from Everyday Lux as well. It's just in a different kind of packaging. I do like the lemon sage smell. Um, I don't like the lemon grass. I do like the lemon sage. So again, very nice. Moving on, um, I emptied my Victoria's Secret shampoo and conditioner this month. I love these, love the smell of them. It brought me back to being like 17 and using these all the time because I thought it was really cool. I liked them. I also finished off a container of my dry shampoo. I have already bought another one of these. I really, really love these um, because I, you know, trying to trying to be better to my hair. So about a year ago, I bought like 40 of these tiny little hand sanitizer bottles from Bat, uh, from Bath and Body Works, and um, I went through this one. It's very old. Um, the front label <laughs> came off and everything. So I couldn't tell you what scent it is. It was probably some raspberry type scent. I love hand sanitizers. These little purse things are just magnificent to me, so I finished one of those. Moving on to like makeup y things, um, I wanted to start with my makeup remover pads. Uh, I did empty one of these this month. It's just the Equate brand. These really do dry out the unders of my eyes so much um, to where they start to peel. I don't know if you've seen that in my recent videos or I just finished these off last night. So, <laughs> so this morning I woke up and it's, it's, um, very dry under my eyes, very peeling. I can't put on face makeup right now. I have very sensitive skin, so that is a big downside. So I, I'm not gonna get these again. Um, I bought some from Pacifica that's hydrating, moisturizing. I'll see how it goes. I'm gonna start using that tomorrow, so. All right, moving on to actual makeup. I have a lot of stuff here too. Um, I finished off a thing of the NYX setting spray. Um, this is the only setting spray I use. I did have a Smashbox one. It was okay. Not great. This one makes my stuff last all day long. I really do love this. I do have another bottle of this that I am currently working on. Next up is a blush that I've had for a really, really long time. I know you're not supposed to keep makeup 
past a certain amount of time. I don't see any expiration dates on this. So I didn't see a reason to throw it away, but I used it up until, you know, this point. And I do have much better, much more high quality blush. This is from LA Colors in the shade Natural. So I do have much better blush. I felt like it was time to just <laughs> let it go. Next up is a uh, makeup brush. This is from Tammy Jade. This came in a set that I do still use um, the bigger blush brushes, um, but I figured it was time to let this one go. I used this for a long time for absolutely everything. Blush, foundation, uh, setting powder. I, I used this for everything. So this is another one that I figured it was time to let it go. The bristles are falling out. It just doesn't do very well. It held up for, you know, a couple of years, but so the next two things are mascaras. Um, I I feel like I put this mascara in another empties video, but it was sitting in my empties drawer. So I'm not sure if I did or not. I've had this mascara for forever. It's from Wet n Wild. I used it on my bottom lash line because I was scared um, of using like the big um, the big brushes so I bought this one specifically because it had a small brush for my lower lashes um, so I used this for like three years on just my lower lashes and then I do have a Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara that I am also through with um, and this I used for my my upper lashes um, but I have much better I don't know if everybody would consider it better, but I'm currently in love with two other mascaras. So these are gone. They're going. And the last up from makeup, I did finish off another thing of my NYX concealer. This is in the shade 04. So this is the one that I use to conceal any kind of breakouts that I have. I love these. I get them at least once a month um, in this shade and in the shade 02, which I use for highlighting. Um, these are fantastic. I will constantly repurchase these until I find something better, so I do have another one of these. And last up is my empties for nail polish. Um, I finished off a bottle of the UNT Peel Off Base Coat. Um, I use this when I do my video swatches. This is great. I have another bottle that I'm working on right now that I'm currently like a third of the way done with, so I will have to place another order very shortly. These are fantastic. I'll link them in the description box below if anybody's interested. And then I have finished off another bottle of my Diamond Pro Top Coat from I Am Custom Color. I really need to slow down on using these because she has discontinued these. So um, I had like six bottles at one point and I think I'm down to my last one. Potentially my last two, which is really upsetting. So Diamond Pro Top Coat from I Am Custom Color. Again, I'll link them in the description box below, but they are not continuing with their top coat anymore. Moving on to my favorites for the month. Since I started with candles, I'll start with scents. I am really loving the Scentsy Pumpkin Spice um, Pumpkin Elixir Wax Melts from Tuscany Candles. Tis the season for pumpkin spice stuff. Um, it is currently 80 degrees right now where I live and I'm just trying to grab onto any bit of fall that somebody will give me. So. Everything in my house right now is like pumpkin and harvest and hayride and fall. Judge me if you want, but I <laughs> love it. So, of course, um, my Scentsy, my candles, every room in the house has something scented in it, and that's just how I like things done. Skincare. So, may have noticed, you may not have, my face looks a lot better than it has in the past, and I've been using this. Cetaphil face wash. Um, I'm not sure who recommended it to me. I know a couple people have when I've complained about my terrible skin, but I use this twice a day um, along with um, this like acne gel stuff. I'm not sure what it really is, um, but I use this twice a day to wash my face. I wash my makeup off with this, and then I'll go in with my face wipes and just do my eyes. But I've been really loving this stuff. It is very good for sensitive skin and it just it works like a charm. So I really, really like this. Next up, you've heard me talk about this before, but this Farsali um, Rose Gold Elixir, God, I can't get enough of this. It's so moisturizing and I do when I get these little break 
these little dry spots under my eyes, I do use this and it usually clears up within a couple of days. I do have face lotions that don't work nearly as well, so I really, really do love this. Moving on, let's talk about some makeup. So in my Ipsy bag a couple of months ago, it was in the middle of the summer, so probably July, I got this um, Meet Matrimony eyeshadow in the shade Matt Kumar, which is this, sorry it's gross, which is this um, really dark mauve purple red color um, from the Balm. And I said in that video that I wasn't really into it because it was the summertime. I wouldn't use it as much. I like the more natural look in the summertime. But I actually used this about seven or eight times in September. So I really do like this. It's got that buttery, creamy formula that I just adore. Next up is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. This is a mineral blush. Now this was the first blush that I tried that is a loose powder. Let's try not to make a mess with this. But it's a loose powder. Um, I've been really loving this. I'm not one for like that super bright blush, um, but I do really like a, a natural like, oh you've got something going on, but this gives that to me. It's like just a little kiss of color and then you're good. So I was talking about mascaras before. This is from Tarte. This is one of the mascaras that I've really been loving that I've replaced my <laughs> three-year-old mascaras, two or three-year-old. Actually, I feel like the Maybelline one's not that old. I can still see all the words on it, so it's a good sign. But this is the Tarte mascara is one of the ones that I have been loving recently. I also have been loving my Ulta brand mascara, so those have been really nice. We are talking about the LA Colors blush. I told you that I got a much higher quality blush that I've been loving a lot more, and this is it from the Balm. So I've really been loving this. My sister got this for me for my graduation this year. It's got two blushes, a highlighter, and a bronzer, and I use this daily. Um, you know, I didn't use it today. <laughs> when I do my full face of makeup, I will use this every time. I've really, really been loving this. There's like a really light bubblegum pink, but then there's this um, like darker, more coral pink and I like to mix the two together if I'm going for more of a bold look and then it's got the two contours that I just really love this is such a fantastic blush palette to me I really do love this and last up from makeup is the Miss Jen Fabulous palette you may or may not have heard me talking about this before um, but it's it's very neutral shades um, it's not so pigmented it does take a little bit of building up but I, I use every single shade in this palette on different occasions, different days. I use every single shade. Um, so I have been using this every single time I do my makeup for one thing or another. This Virgo shade um, I use as a base almost every single time I do my eyeshadow. So I really, really do love this palette. And our last category is nail polish. Um, I'm going to start with Pavarti by I Am Custom Color. Again, they'll be in the description box below. I went on vacation uh, for a week this past month in September and I wore this almost the entire time. I think there was only one day that I changed I changed my nail polish for one day. So I wore this for, you know, eight days straight. I really, really love this shade. It's that perfect little deep red shade for the fall. I love it. Next up is Terracotta from Jamberry. I did just do my whole swatch video um, of all of their shades that I have, so that is on my page. I'll link it in the description box if you haven't seen it yet, but I, oh god, I really do love this polish. It's so beautiful and it's so perfect for the fall and getting ready for the fall. I, I expected it to get colder so much faster here. I guess I just don't know. And I, <laughs> I wore this a lot trying to get ready, prepare myself, and it just never came. But I do love this shade. Next up, Fleur de Lis came out with their um, fall collection for this year, the Let's Go Camping collection, I think this is from. This is kind of that like mustard yellow that some people really like, other people really don't. I am one that just, I'm drawn to those ugly pretty shades. <laughs> I don't know what it is. My husband, I'll put something on, my husband's like, eh, why? <laughs> I really, really do love this. This is called Pass the Mustard. And last up from my polish favorites is from Pop Nail Polish. This was um, from their fall collection this year as well. 
This is called Bubbling Cauldron. Um, this was from their entire Glow in the Dark collection. Honestly, everything in this collection was pretty much a hit for me. I really like the polishes that I can get to work. <laughs> Glowing in the Dark is not my forte. Go ahead and ask me what my forte is because it's not stamping either. Glow in the Dark is not what I'm good at, but all of these glowed so perfectly for me. I was very impressed with that. But this is just another one of those ugly pretty shades that I think is perfect for the fall time. I really need to invest in a new camera. Mine shut off on me. So anyway, this Bubbling Cauldron was a very, very pretty shade that I am very excited to wear throughout the entire fall season. And that's it. I did it. I did my September empties and favorites. Hopefully I will do it again next month if I don't forget. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Again, check that description box below for any of the things that I can leave a link to. Like, I'm not going to go find this candle. I'm not just not. But everything else, you know, I'm, I'll link some things in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.